is uh, Sunday uh, the 5th of September and here again is the uh, the New York Times hard Sudoku um, if you uh, would be so kind I'd be very grateful if you would subscribe to the channel um, and if you enjoy the videos please do like them I'm just going to start just notice that there's a one we can fill in straight away and as usual I'll put some pencil marks in the grid where I can see that there's a uh, a limitation to uh, two candidates in a given three by three box just to get going um, and I, I guess we'll see uh, we'll see what happens after that so sort of a quick whiz through the numbers to start with in the grid over here. Pencil mark fives up at the top there. And just looking at this shape that this makes, this, this six is now kind of helpful. We can um, place a six here. This six blocks these two in that part of the grid. Just wondering if there's anything else there. That, that nine comes across and we can pencil mark nines. Looks like we also need a two and an eight in that grid, but I don't think there's any, yeah, any information from the twos or the eights that help us fill any more cells in this uh, in this row. <clears throat> so I think we've got up to the fives. Uh, so let's just crack on from here. Okay, we can pencil mark a couple of fives there. Sixes. Pencil mark sixes here. Pencil marks on sixes here, right, six across and the six up. Let's have a look at some sevens. Okay, we've got sevens we can pencil mark here. Okay, we've got a four seven pair. Let's come back to that in a minute. Um, pencil mark sevens over here. Eights doesn't look like there's anything we can do. Nines, we did that one also. Okay, let's just have a look at this column real quick. Um, yeah, so this has got to be a one. Um, we've got a four seven below here. There's a one already in this three by three grid, and this one blocks this piece, so this here has got to be a one. And what that allows us to do as well is to place another pair in the grid here. So we've now got a one seven pair with our four seven pair. Okay, let's come back to this to this column. We need to put a two in here somewhere. Four at the bottom, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, this could be an eight or a nine. This also could be an eight or a nine. So <coughs> we don't have any more information there right now. Just going to have a quick look at this row as well. Okay, seven, seven, seven. Okay, somewhere there. So we've got up to the nines, so just a quick run back through. Uh, we can pencil mark threes now up here. Ah, look at, okay, the threes and the sixes make the same shape here and here. So this now can't be a two, so we've got a, a three-six pair, and this can't be a five. 
so we can now place the two and the five in this uh, in this three by three grid. We've actually now only got two candidates left here, so we need to place a seven and an eight. I think we can pencil mark those in. We don't quite yet know where they're going to go. Yeah, basically that could be an eight and an eight. Right, okay. <coughs> ah, but now that that's a two, our two is forced up here. So this can't be two, these three will be twos, but not quite sure yet. More. Ah, okay. Because of this one seven pair. <clears throat> we can now pencil mark fours here. That means we do have fours running across here, but again, we don't know enough more about them yet. Okay, so this can't be a five. Right. Six. Fives again. Um, Okay, what have we got to fill in here? We need to put in a 8 and a 9. Okay. Okay. With the fives, okay, the two and the three run across here. No, okay, that doesn't help. Sorry, let's have a look down here. I'm just yeah ah okay, this can't be an eight because this is a two three five triple here it's the only places where a two three and a five five are in these two cells twos and threes are in these two cells because this two and three come down here and the two and three come down here so there's one digit left in this, which is a nine. 
So this is now an 8 9 pair. This <clears throat> can be an 8 or a 9, and that can be a 9. What else do we need to place here? A 5, which can be sort of 1, 2, 3. Six There's a three four pair here. This can't be a five or a six. This must be a nine. Okay. Because this is a four three pair, we've got a one seven pair here. Five, six, and nine need to go in one of these three cells. And we've got a five here and a six here. So this can't be a five or a six, it must be a nine, which sort of helps us to uh, place a couple. a pretty good little uh, move. That's got to be, there's a 4-3 pair here, so that can't be a 3. This has now got to be a 5. This is our 3. This is our 3. Okay, seven so we can pencil mark here. What are we doing with eights? Eights can be here and here. Okay, that's got to be an eight. So, oh, we've got an eight over here. So we can pencil mark eights there. What do we need in this? We need a four somewhere here. And a six. Nothing. Ah, but we can place a six here now in the grid. So that's our six, that's our four, that's our three, that's our three six over there. That's a six five, that's a four three. What have we got there? That's a nine. Um, that's a nine, that's a nine. Looks like that's now a six. What else is there on there? A four. There's a four eight pair there. That can also be a four. That can also be a four. Ah, but the only four. Is that right? Oh no. Let's just think about this one. Okay, we've got fours here. Yeah, this can also be a four, can't it? Here's a five, which means here's a five, here's a seven, four and a seven. Uh, this is a four, eight, four, eight, four. So a nine and a five. There we go. Today's New York Times Hard Sudoku. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, a bit annoying I didn't see that sort of triple in the 
right grid until I started putting in some additional candidate cells. Um, anyway, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video if it was helpful. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Have a good day.